All right, this this the stress of the job doing this. <clears throat> Think about something else. It'll pass. Um, what's uh, what's the total number of lockers in here? Eighteen. I uh, put my hand on you. Is it gonna go through? Try. If I'm not dreaming, what are you doing here? You called me. No, no I didn't call you. No, you just showed up in that hospital base. You gave me a hell of a scare, let me tell you. No, it wasn't me. That was your imagination reaching out to me. So, here I am. In the flesh, so to speak. Something like that. Anyone else coming in, would they see you? No. They would just think that you were crazy standing here talking to yourself. And they'd be right. I'm standing here talking to a ghost. You are going through an unusual time. Tell me about it. You tell me. What's it like? What, being dead? Yeah. It's okay. Peaceful. You know stuff about us? Like when you're gonna die? Yeah. You really wanna know that? That guy's gun don't misfire. I'm laid out at Gleason's funeral home, so yeah, I, I wanna know. I'm not afraid to die. I, I know life is short. I just wanna know how short. Andy, if life was short, I wouldn't be here. Life is long. You know this? Life is long. It's long in possibilities. It's long in those you affect. It's long in what lives on after you're gone. Yeah, that much I know. Tell me what to do, Bobby. I got a new boss, probably gonna ease me off the job. I got a wife and three little kids. I, I'm too old to start again. I'm, I'm too old to change. I don't know what the hell to do. Sure you do. Hey, you're the one that's been hanging around up there with them saints and prophet types, you tell me. Be a teacher. Yeah, good. There's an image. Andy Sipwitz behind the desk, yelling at 30 kids throwing spitballs. Well, maybe <laughs> just four kids. Hey, three's enough, trust me. No more kids in my life. What about your partner? Clark's a grown man. Who lost one father and scared to death he's gonna lose another one. I can't take that on. You already did. He don't want me being his father. Yeah, he does. When the kids are at their worst, that's when they need you the most. It's too late. I feel like I lost him already. Just like I lost Andy Jr. And, and Sylvia. And you, I can't go through that again. Spot him the mistakes, Andy. And teach him to ride out the losses and you won't have to. You think the big guy let up on you because of your looks? You're supposed to serve a purpose when you're down here. The big guy isn't God. When you needed him the most, he was right there for you. You're saying there's actually a God? Yes, Annie, that's exactly what I'm saying. Be nice if he gave me the high sign once in a while. I think that's what he's doing. How come I'm so afraid, Bobby? Because you think too much about what's ahead of you. You think about what you owe the people who depend on you, what you owe the job, what you owe yourself. And you're afraid that you won't have enough time to make good on all of it. You didn't. My life was exactly as long as it was supposed to be. Not as far as I'm concerned. I never got over not having you in the world with me. I am in the world with you, Andy. No, you're not. Not like it was. No. Not like it was. I wish we could go back to then. We come when we are called, Andy. I gotta ask you. You see Andy Jr.? He's fine. What about Sylvia? Also fine. You see them? 
No, it don't work like that. But I know they're fine. I know you're in their hearts. And this little chat that we're having, can we make this a regular thing? I'm always around if you need me. What are you going to be like, my guardian angel? Something like that. I miss you, partner. I miss you, too. How are you doing here? God bless, Andy. Be out of your way in a second. Wanna grab something to eat? You wanna? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere, John. I'm right here with you. 